Good evening, everyone. Today, let's ask about them and how do they feel about leaving the relationship with you? How do they feel about the separation? Do they regret it or do they not regret it? So I have five different landmark card decks in front of me. Number one, two, three, four, and five. If you'd like to have this reading, Please think of a person or persons and choose a deck or decks and take your time, please. Okay, have you chosen your deck? So let's start. The deck number one. This is our first deck. How do they feel about leaving this relationship? Okay, so let's have a look. What do they feel about leaving this relationship? Well, so maybe uh, this relationship, um, you know, was very, feels like family. It perhaps was, uh, you know, married relationship and uh, right now simply I think they feel it's difficult for them mentally to you know think about it remember it so kind of they are blocking it out I don't sense that they're very happy but at the same time they might be uh, not regretting and uh, simply, you know, try not to think about it. Maybe, you know, if the if a child is uh, involved in this relationship, let's say they had a child in this relationship, it can be that they're kind of thinking about the child mostly. And overall... Um, and overall can be well the feeling is heavy yeah like they're blocking maybe they're blocking a man in this relationship he can be a father or a father-in-law uh, like uh, there's an, like the enemies or something so it can be that sort of thing, and I think that they're emotionally very um, kind of hurt um, about this. Of course, they're not happy, basically, yeah? Okay, so this was our reading number one. Let's ask, what is the advice? For you and for them about this situation. Advice for you, advice for them. Well, basically, um, look for other opportunities, look for other people. Maybe this person, you cannot trust this person anymore. Maybe they made their choice and they moved on. Now you have to accept that. What is advice for for them? Well, for them, it's so uh, living with some woman in, in the house, so uh, being stable. 
maybe they had another person because of whom they left so it says that they should focus on their family now and just live their life focus on what they have this was our reading number one let's move on to our reading number two this is our reading number two the question is how do what do they feel like about leaving this relationship Here we have some painful cards coming. Well, here the person is a little bit more aggressive, um, more, I wouldn't say, I don't know, violent, maybe more stressed out, more nervous, more kind of hyper about it. Maybe it wasn't a very good separation uh, between you two. And maybe they want to tell you something, but you're not answering their phone calls or something. So I'm feeling that they're trying to contact you, but to no vein. Um, maybe they even use bad language while trying to contact you or do something like that. So I think the, it's not over for them yet because they're very stressed out about some sort of either thinking about you intensely, either calling you intensely or writing emails, messages, texting, you know, like attacking with emails. And they be like of, of a very like persistent nature, of a very negative nature, like cheap and kind of doesn't make you feel good. Maybe it's, it's like threatening or something, that sort of thing. So, um, what is advice for you and for them regarding this relationship? What is advice for you regarding this relationship? What is advice for them regarding this relationship? Look, we have... Don't give them any money. Um, don't uh, at all. Close all the financial channels to that person... And don't take money, I guess, also. You know, that sort of thing. If it's so, uh, they're asking for money or something. Yeah. Now, also, if you're drinking, don't do that. Yeah? With these cards. Now, what is advice for them? Move on in a friendly way just uh, fly away so this was um, you know our reading number two now uh, let's move on to our reading number three so what do they feel about leaving this relationship what do they feel about it well it seems like this relationship was quite public um, like it's visible for all of the world uh, it's like uh, let's say imagine a couple who is uh, vlogging their personal life recording it on social media or something like that very similar maybe in this case you know public opinion is very important in this relationship and basically what do they think about it i think they're very self-assured they're very um, keeping their calm and uh we have this card falling, the stalk. I think they quite, they happily move away here. Like, uh, there's no... Like, it's the right thing that they did. They don't feel any guilt. They don't feel anything like that. They are just uh, thinking about their success, their honor, their um, social success, how people see them, how they look, 
you know, how, how what do they achieve, their achievements, their goals. And I think that's the main thing for them. So I think they just moved away from this relationship, moved on, yeah. Like a public person. I don't even kind of sense like a couple here, more like public figure with many uh, fans, maybe a job they're married to. Okay, have these cards falling. So basically talking about maybe uh, they, they have many friends, they have many people they meet with and things like that. So what is advice for you in this relationship? What is advice for them in this relationship? Advice for you. So we're having like uh, trying to do something impossible. I'm getting like uh, banging your head in the wall. It's kind of, well, keep trying, I'm getting here, to be honest. So keep trying. But also the cards are kind of negative, like they're dragging you down. They, they're dragging you down. But maybe you should uh, do that here with this person. I didn't understand it, so I'm asking again. What is advice for you? Look, uh, maybe don't leave this relationship, don't move, um, be stable, stay where you are, like you want to move, you want to leave, and uh, also my talk about uh, moving to some place, like some country, like a sunny country. Uh, to your relatives perhaps some city maybe some state and basically be positive about it everything is okay yeah in your situation now what is advice for them I also keep communicating be who you are um, be relaxed, uh, I think, and talk to ladies and things like that. It can also talk about the fact that um, they could um, say sorry to you, send a message and things like that. Maybe in this situation, we kind of sense a happy-go-lucky type of person who kind of likes going here and there. They are very laid back and they don't think it's as, uh, of it as serious or, you know of this situation so maybe the cards are kind of saying that don't leave this relationship stay in this relationship and for them also you have to say sorry or or give you something nice you know that sort of thing or say something nice okay so this was our reading number three now let's move on to our reading number four our deck number four What do they feel? How do they feel like about leaving this relationship? Well, here no, nothing can stop them. We have three travel cards. We have uh, a relationship that was like a drag. Uh, perhaps it was like standing water, very still, and um, 
there was a sense that no, nothing was there to begin with, or it has been in, in the same place for a long time, you know, kind of very heavy and um, basically not really cheerful, nothing's happening, like a relationship is stagnant, sleeping, like a dead marriage type of relationship, people don't even talk to each other, or you feel like uh, there's nothing left between the two, that sort of sense. So maybe they just decided to travel, to go, to leave, and that's what they feel. They feel like they left it, you know, that they moved on. I think they moved on now. And here it can be literally, they traveled somewhere else, um, because we have like so undoubtful movement you know, into the future, into their life. So I think they, they feel good, like they're searching for something new. They are free, you know, that sort of feeling, like freedom, movement, traveling. It feels almost like they're some sort of truck driver. They left the relationship in order to drive or, you know, travel in ships or planes or something like this, their passion or something. Okay, let's see, what is advice for you regarding this relationship? And what is advice for them regarding this relationship? Well, for you, it can say that, well, maybe um, they, there is another female in their relationship because you have two female cards. Maybe they are saying, it's saying that um, things that were good in the beginning turn out not so good in the end. So maybe there were lies and things like that. So, you know, uh, maybe it just says that that's why they left, you know, and that because this is a good reason for that. Now, let's see what is advice for them regarding this relationship. Well, I think here... So for them it's very interesting actually, it's more talking about their inner inner self maybe for them is full of the dreams or something um, they have to focus their attention to things that they want to do in life on their success on their intuition and um, that sort of thing maybe uh, and it's very emotional kind of heavy emotional type of uh, cards for them like maybe don't overthink don't get too emotional here for me it's more like um, um, if they're looking for a perfect partner for to create a family let's say maybe they wanted a family and you didn't want a family Maybe they're looking for a certain type of partner, you know, and they lost their hope that they will not find her. So these cards might talk about keep imagining or keep uh, focusing on your intuition and you will find that what you're looking for. So this was our reading number four. Now let's move on to our reading number five. Lenamar deck number five. The question is, how do they feel about uh, leaving this relationship? Are they sad, happy, or they don't care? Let's see. What do they feel like about leaving this relationship? Well, here I'm getting the they're happy with a sun card. Uh, like uh, now things are clear. Now things are uh, kind of positive. Maybe in the beginning they didn't feel comfortable in this relationship. Maybe it was a relationship of correspondence. 
um, online only. So maybe they felt the sense of like it's stressful a little bit with mice, like they need to, you know, respond on time or something like that. But uh, at the moment, I think they almost um, are happy and they're willing to be friends. That sort of feeling. Um, and they want to even talk to you. So let's see what is the advice for you and them regarding this relationship. What is advice for you and what is advice for them? Well, for you can mean that that this man is well, it can be, you know, that this man is committed, yeah, that either he's committed now um, to someone else, like he's married, or in a way that you can trust him, you know, because the reading was kind of about separation, so I suppose that you're not with this man. So in that case, it can say that this man is uh, occupied, this man is in another relationship. Um, but overall cards are very good also. So if you're not separated, it can mean that he's interested. But I'm getting very family type of cards, like honest person, wouldn't cheat, you know, that sort of thing. So... I think it can talk about him being married and that's why, you know, this relationship maybe didn't work out. Now let's see what is advice for them regarding this relationship. Well, for them, I'm, I'm getting this... Um, like keeping it as a secret... Maybe you'll actually not to keep it a secret, but to be like an open book about something, you know, about their maybe stability, you know, about the fact that they will not change their situation, maybe about the fact that they're not available. Um, so maybe they should just talk and be clear about it. Okay, so uh, this advice really kind of mm, surprises me. Uh, this whole reading, actually, it's very difficult to understand what's happening here. Because uh, big problems are not seen here. Like a little bit of annoyance, perhaps. Maybe it's just messages and, and things like that. And overall, they feel very good about it. But for you, it's kind of about the cards of a married man. And his cards, I'm not even understanding. Advice for him. Maybe research something. Maybe write something. Maybe that sort of thing. Open some information. Let's see what is advice for them here. No, here actually we see don't tell anybody, don't uh, be careful what you say, you know, to people, I think, here I might say, you know, don't go to public, because I'm getting public, I'm getting easy going, and I'm getting no, like stop, don't do that, and, uh, and here just to... Uh, Keep being who you who you are. Do not um, do not become unstable. How to say? So here also can be keep it a secret. Also, although we have this open book, 
so they shouldn't talk about it they should uh, just keep doing what they're doing um, if they are in a good position already they should keep that position no matter what so this was our reading number five uh, I hope you enjoyed it thank you for watching this video hope to see you next time have a great night have a great day bye bye